Okay, it's Rob from RobLonFair.com here, and today I'd like to show you a really cool app on Android on the HTC One Max, and that is the Google Sky Map app. Um, if you haven't played around with this yet, um, it's great fun anyway. Even if not, even if you're not into uh, astrophotography or night photography. Um, but quite simply, it shows you where all the constellations, moons, stars, planets are in the night sky. Now, it, it actually set up you, to use all the sensors in your phone so that as you move your phone around, change the angle, basically point it at the sky, it will show you what constellations are up there. But obviously, because this is a review where... Oop, oops, I should have done that. Let's go back into sky map. Um, where my camera is fixed. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to change the mode. Now, this mode here where you move the camera around is fantastic. If you want to impress people with your phone, show them this. And obviously on the HTC One Max with this beautiful 5.9 inch screen, it looks especially great. But I'm just going to turn it into, whoops, press down here, turn it into um, uh, manual mode. So this is where I'm just going to move it around with my finger. So what you can see across here is we've got the, the horizon line there. And then I can scroll around and I can look for, these are all star constellations. Now, um, so I could just point this at the sky and I can say, well, there's there's Vega. Um, let's have a look. There's the Hubble Deep Field Telescope up there. Um, there's the, the constellation of Ursa Major. So Ursa Minor is going to be somewhere down here. And then what you can do is over on the left-hand side, you can turn different things off. But what's really powerful as well is if you here we can actually search for things so we can say well actually show me where obviously we'd, we'd know where the moon is but if say we wanted to find one of the stars show me where jupiter is and that'll pop up here now what it's done there is it's taken me straight to jupiter now if we weren't in manual mode if we were just in touch mode this is what you would see you would see this little circle here and then an arrow change so what that would mean is you would then take your phone and then you would change its orientation let's see if i can Probably, I'm not going to be able to change anything, so you're going to be able to see, but you'd move it round until you actually got on top of Jupiter, and that would show you exactly where it is. So how cool is that? Let's go back into um, go back into manual mode. So it's going to go straight to, um, so then I can move it around. All right, you can see it here. So I've been moving my phone around, and there's Jupiter. So I know I could point my phone up in the sky and see Jupiter. Now, depending on the cloud cover, and uh, how good my eyes were or my telescope or my lens on my camera or my binoculars I could then maybe get a view of Jupiter and perhaps take a photograph of it so how you know how cool is that and so you can look for all the major things in the night sky and look at them however there is other stuff you can do with it as well and this is the time travel thing so let's imagine so say like you're me you're, you're an amateur photographer and you, you're a bit stuck for time maybe you've only got you know a few minutes or well, say half an hour in the evening from I don't know, half past nine till ten o'clock um I felt, let's, say, let's say half past ten to eleven o'clock to take photographs in your garden of the night sky you know what's going to be there what should you look for well if you press the option button you've got the time travel mode and in the time travel mode we can change the sky to a different point in time so let's um change the time let's put the time forward to I don't know, half past eleven Let's say done, let's say go, bingo. Now, what I'm looking at now is not what the sky looks like now, but in this case, what the sky would look like at half past 11 tonight. So now I could find, um, let's see if we can find Saturn, where is, there's Jupiter, sorry. So I would know, I could then point my phone in that direction of the sky and take a photo of it. Now, if here, with the, with the way our garden is and where all the houses are around it, I can only really see the sky from a couple of different angles. So this way I could plan what I was going to take photographs of. Or, for example, if I wanted to take pictures of the moon, I could make sure the moon is there. And especially if you use this in conjunction with something like the photographer's ephemeris, then you've got an incredibly powerful tool. So, you know, you might even want to say, well, actually, I know that this evening I want to go, um, I've, got, I've got an hour where I can go to somewhere really dark and take some photographs. What's going to be in the night sky? So you can use that time travel mode to put the time to maybe even that date, maybe it's next week at nine o'clock in the evening, and you could see what would be in the night sky at that particular time. You could have a hunt round and, and zoom it around yourself, or you could find for particular planetary bodies.
how amazing is that so um, again we can search for stuff um, so let's find out where um, I don't know which uh, let's see where maybe uh, Venus can be quite bright can't it so let's uh, search for Venus and let's see where it will be well there it is and again I could find that and then I can get rid of that and if I want to go back to the current time I can press that and then we're down we're back to the current time and again what you would normally be doing again is you would normally not be doing it in manual mode but you'd be doing it in the automatic mode where as you move the phone it shows you exactly where things are there's the moon we could zoom in we can zoom out we can toggle night mode so that won't ruin our night vision there but I know that doesn't show up too good in the um, in the video and we can have a look at a gallery of different things that me we might want to see if we could find in the sky you know if we had a pretty good if we had a pretty good so we could say well there's the whirlpool galaxy where is it in the sky and again google sky maps will take us straight to it how absolutely fantastic is this particular piece of software um, and it's free get it from the android play market and sorry google play is it something i don't know what it's called you, you know what i mean you know where you get your apps and download it and uh, have some fun with uh, not only looking at the night sky with all different constellation planets and stars but maybe it'll help you with your photography too my name's rob from robnonphoto.com thanks for watching